welcome to your October monthly reading. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. I would like to thank all of you who have liked, subscribed, and shared my videos, and to those who have booked readings and made donations to my channel. I absolutely love doing this for you. Yes, you're going to hear me say that over and over because it is the truth. If you would like a personal reading that is specific for your situation, you can go to Ascending Souls Journey. At the top, you will see a tab that says Readings, another tab that says Guidance. You can select the one that is appropriate for you, and it has uh, tells you how to pay for it and what information I need to do the reading for you. So, we have the past moving into the present and then moving into the future. And when it comes to career and finance, some of you have been working for somebody that is a bit of a miser. They don't uh, reward the way they should. Some organizations have fantastic benefits and they really take good care of their employees while others don't they actually um, they hold back from giving a lot to their employees. And what this is saying, you may be working, this group of you are working for somebody who's like that, that they have, let me say one more, that they have, uh, they don't give as much as you want. And you're wishing, you're hoping for this job that gives you all the abundance that you need. And not just abundance, but emotionally satisfies you. So you may be taking a step back and analyzing the situation because it's not completely what you want. You know there's a lot of opportunities out there and it's time for you to really look at what it is I want and how are you going to get it. Is it from the existing company that you're with or are you going to have to move forward? So you're leaving the past with multiple opportunities. This job, going back to that group, it really left you feeling um, sad. Just, just really sad. There's a lot of gossip. There's negativity in that environment. Gossip going on. And your boss is not helping much. Um, you see the King of Wands, and, and it's kind of hard to see. I know I don't have a, a zoom. If you can open your screen, that'd be better. But the King of Wands is here staring at the Five of Cups. He's not helping you, okay? You may have people that are backstabbing you, uh, petty gossip, and it's really affecting you. You need to to do some, the universe wants you to take a step back and kind of rest and regroup. That's what the Four of Swords is about. It's regroup, meditation. Looking at a situation with a clear mind, no negative thoughts, just looking at it factually, what it truly is. And you're gonna have an opportunity to create something new. There's secrets going on there and gossip and it's really, kind of damaging you um, so as you move forward you have a fantastic opportunity coming with a really good corporation company entity it's coming for you so after you go through here you'll have an opportunity to work really hard to create a brand new union with this new organization now for others of you when it comes to investing, you have a lot of opportunities in this area. So in order to make money, you have to put money out, right? That's just the way it goes. That's kind of like what Murphy's Law, isn't that what it's called? You need to make sure that you're dealing with somebody that's on the up and up and they are speaking the truth. So it may be who of you to actually do the research before you invest your money. You have an opportunity that's coming that is going to be very... Uh, uh, good for you but it's important that you are dealing with maybe it's your stockbroker financial investment uh, person make sure very important that you have a clear solid idea of what's going on so that you can trust them there might be some secrets in there about the investment opportunity so read the fine print very important to read the fine print they may not be telling you everything, but you can see it. You'll be able to see it. 
Okay, now when it comes to love, some of you have been in a relationship that actually uh, you put in a lot of work. I mean, you really worked at it and you want to take a step back and look and see if it's giving you the emotional satisfaction that you need. They may not be satisfying you emotionally. They might be holding back the other person. You do have a lot of opportunities, a lot of options coming. Now this can indicate the Seven of Cups daydreaming. So you might even be daydreaming about somebody um, for some of you. But what I'm really hearing, this group, you are looking at the situation. Your partner is not emotionally open. You're dealing with somebody who isn't ready to be in a long-term committed relationship. It's making you very sad. Um, they may have other people involved in this situation and you need to take a step back, rest, regroup, and meditate because the answer is going to come to you while you're doing this. Once you release the, the, the stress, the anxiety, all the worries. You know, swords are about thoughts and that can lead to worrying, repetitive thinking over and over. The brain can go into overload, right? And they want you to just kind of calm your thinking down, just calm your thinking down because what's coming for you, even through all this hardship, you've had third party situation possibly, you, you've been sad, you've been, you've been hurt by this person. There were secrets, um, they kind of flipped your world upside down. There was unrequited love. So it's important for you to let go. You can't see the card, sorry. Um, it's important for you have let go of control issues and unrequited love came out. So it's very important for you to actually let go of this and let God in this particular situation. But you do have an opportunity coming to you to create a brand new union with somebody very special somebody you can work hard at this relationship and know that they're going to 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 speak the truth they're going to have clear communication with you and it is going to be a really wonderful um union with them yeah for others of you you may be in a relationship right now that is very challenging and you're you're taking a step back to to say okay i've done all this work and i want to look at it, i want to see is my partner actually fulfilling me is this relationship fulfilling me um either you or they are holding back on emotions which is why the unrequited love card is here it's not reciprocated uh so it's important for you to 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 really take a look at the situation. It's sad, it's hurting you. There were secrets involved in it. Um, your partner could have had a, an affair that you were not aware of, but it's kind of, it, it will come to light and you will know, you will know what to do at that time. Before you move forward in any direction, whether you want to reconcile and fix your existing relationship or to actually release the relationship it's very important to meditate and the last card that came up is trust it's important for you to trust sometimes letting go you have to let go of what's holding you back let go of our preconceived notions of how we see a relationship and look at the truth the real truth of the reality of the situ of, of the relationship is it really bringing you emotional satisfaction or should you move forward regardless which direction you go have trust let go of control issues and give it to God let the universe let the divine guide you to move forward and be strong in who you are because you have this wonderful opportunity coming either to reunite the love that you have with your partner, you can fix this, you'll know. If this is applying to you, you will figure out, you're being guided from above, you'll know whether you can salvage your relationship and create a brand new beginning with them, or you will know whether it is time for you to go on a different path and move forward with a brand new person with your truth and clarity, but theirs as well. So I do hope this helps you, and please check out your moon and rising sign. 
Um, and if you would like a personal reading, ascendingsoulsjourney.com. Much love to you, Leo. Have a wonderful October.